Green Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Green Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode of Green Access Solutions, I'm going to show you how to clone an AutoGate remote control. I bought these remote controls from Lazada and I will flash the seller on the screen. This model is the 330 MHz. There is another variant which is the 400 plus, but I opted to this. It is the typical type of the remote control which has two buttons, one for open and one for close. Now this is not the usual type of automatic gate control because it doesn't have those eight switches that you can flip up or down and create a combination that will signal the gate to either open or close. And if we try and look at this motherboard, you can see that it's pretty simple and it was built only for cloning. So the downside of using this is that you cannot actually set the combination using this remote control. You will have to get the original remote control and then clone it using this device. But looking at the size of this remote control, and its battery, it's pretty much the same as that as the original remote control that we will be cloning later. This is the original automatic gate remote control and if we open it, there is the switches that I'm telling you earlier. This is where you create a combination and use it as the trigger for the gate controller. To clone your original remote controls, follow these instructions. So the first remote control is now done and set. That's how easy it is to clone your existing remote control using this generic um, device. Here's another generic remote control. I'm going to set it up also. And let's just repeat the same process again. I have this other type also, and while it looks different at the outside, the process of cloning is pretty much the same. So you also need to press the up and down button at the same time until you see that the LED light flashes. Make sure that you press the open button three times in quick succession. Now the first button of the original remote control is the button number one and the first button of the cloned remote control will be the top button. Just follow the same instruction that we have assigned to the previous two remote controls and the cloning process will proceed as usual. That's it. This remote control is also set. 
Aside from cloning gate remote controls, you can also clone your car's remote control key if you wish to. We are here now at one of our gates and I brought out some of the details because of the privacy issue and as you can see the remote control that we have set is working fine and the gate that we're intending to open with our generic remote control is actually working it's opening and it's closing at will all right guys if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel have a nice day everyone